Continuing the life of Joseph, and uh, we'll give a quick recap for last week's uh, lesson. And um, the uh, Simeon was in jail and uh, in prison in Egypt, and um, Joseph is still in the shrews of their spies, and um, he sent them on their way to go back to. Uh, to uh, Canaan with food, and they got back up there. They explained everything to, to Jacob, and some time goes by, and they use up all the food. And Jacob tells his sons to go back down to to uh, Egypt to buy some more food. And they reminded uh, uh, Jacob that the prime minister had said, "Unless I see uh, your youngest son, you know, I'm not going to sell you any food." So very reluctantly, uh, Jacob allows Benjamin to go back. And uh, so they do, and they, they meet with uh, Joseph, uh, the prime minister. And of course, Joseph is very emotional. And they have a nice banquet, a nice meal. And he gives them uh, permission to buy grain and fills up all their sacks. And Joseph does a little trickery here, and he puts his special silver cup that's Joseph's personal cup in this grain sack of Benjamin, uh, unbeknownst to the brothers, and he sends them on their way. And after a little while, he sent his men to go after them, accusing them of theft of the, of the cup. So he brings them back, and they find the cup in Benjamin's uh, sack. And um, then Joseph can't contain himself anymore, and he comes clean to his brothers of who he is. And, um, and, and Pharaoh uh, gives uh, Joseph permission to take chariots, wagons, to go back and get his family and bring them back to Egypt. And so the brothers go back with the wagons, and um, the brothers' tell, the sons tell Jacob that Joseph is alive, and he, Jacob doesn't believe him. But when he sees the wagons, than he, than he does. So picking up in uh, chapters 46 and 47, Joseph and his family in Egypt. And again, for the sake of time, uh, you know, I won't read chapters 46 and 47. Uh, but uh, the, the opening paragraph on tonight's paper, these chapters tell the story of Jacob and his family moving down to Egypt. This is exactly what God had promised Jacob's grandfather, Abraham, in Genesis chapter 15, uh, verses 13 and 14. <clears throat> There's more going on here than merely one household moving to a location to overcome a famine. This is the Lord's perfect plan for the infant nation Israel to have a greenhouse in which to grow numerically to leave Egypt with great wealth. God is going to incubate his chosen people for the next 400 years in the land of the Nile. Since we are quite certain that the Exodus occurred in 1445 BC, <clears throat> the journey to Egypt by Jacob and his family probably happened in about 1845 BC. Uh, there's an account that says that uh, they were in Egypt 430 years, but that's most likely taking into account the times, transition times of, of back and forth. <clears throat> Uh, from Canaan to Egypt. So, question one, what message did God give Jacob, or did, did God give, uh, what message from God did Jacob receive at Beersheba in chapter 46, verses one through four? Don't be afraid to go to Egypt. Don't be afraid to go down to Egypt. And that sounds kind of pretty easy to understand, but when you have a son in prison down there, you're in a famine, your youngest son is still down there, um, it, it, and you don't have the greatest trust um, in your sons, that's, that's not always an easy thing to understand. How much of the household did Jacob take with him? Okay, uh, verse, all the persons 
of the household, of Jacob's household, and all their possessions, all their livestock, their property, and their servants. So, uh, the next question would be, uh, what was the total number in Jacob's? Yes, yeah, yep. Yeah. Question two, <clears throat> see if you can find in your study notes or Bible dictionary, the land of Goshen within Egypt. Where would that be located? Right, right, yeah, between the Mediterranean Sea and the city of Cairo, and there'd be like a, a bloated wedge of pie with the, with the crust being along the coast of the Mediterranean. Question three, <clears throat> what was the meeting like between Jacob and Joseph? Yeah. Yeah, joyous. Uh, Joseph cried with exceedingly joy at seeing his father, um, Jacob or Israel, um, made a statement that felt that he could now die in peace. His life was now complete. Question four. What plans did Joseph make for the settlement of his family in Egypt in chapters 46 30 verses 31 through 34. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joseph interceded for them with Pharaoh. Um, he, he did it with the purpose to tell Pharaoh something um, about them as a pre-introduction. And Joseph further um, told them what to say to Pharaoh. Um, just don't say that you're, you're uh, herders, but that you're, um, that you're shepherds of livestock, cattle. And um, the Egyptians saw being a shepherd of sheep as a detestable job. Now, why, why would that be important? Okay. Well, Joseph had a, sen a sensitivity about him, and he understood uh, Egyptian culture, and he did not want to offend Pharaoh. <laughs> Saved by the phone, okay. Uh, question five. Pharaoh as Joseph had expected, assigned Jacob and his family to the land of Goshen. What additional requests did Pharaoh make of, to make in chapter 47, verse six? Okay, but the correct answer is, uh, the Pharaoh asked that any able-bodied man be put in charge of his livestock. Uh, question six, what do you think of Jacob's re remarks when Pharaoh spoke with him about his life in chapter 47, verse nine? Jacob complained about the hardness of his life. Okay. And the yeah. Jacob sees his life as having gone by fast, it with time just flying. And although he hadn't lived as long as his fathers, Abraham 175 years and Isaac 180 years, he already uh, inferred that he was aged to that degree. Okay. <clears throat> what sort of attitude and mentality on Jacob's part does this seem to indicate? Negativity, uh, possibly depression, uh, sees himself as a victim, but definitely still holding on to the hurts of his past, um, rather than being excited about being reunited with all his family members. And uh, the, just an incredible thing that God had done. Yeah. <sighs> 
always a step ahead of me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Question seven. What arrangements did Joseph make for his brother's family in uh, chapter 47, verse 12? Yeah. He, yeah. Um, food was provided for all the members of the household, um, you know, from uh, uh, family members down to the servants. Okay. What does the phrase in, in this verse mean according to their little ones? That even the youngest children, the members of Jacob's house, had enough to eat. They were taken care of. Uh, question eight. Under Joseph's administration as prime minister, what happened to the worship, to the ownership of the land in Egypt in chapter 47, verses 13 through 21? It, it, yes, um, as part of uh, Joseph's brilliant administrating abilities, Joseph allowed the people uh, to sell their land to the Egyptian government uh, for food. So he didn't steal the land, but he bought it from the land and while sustaining uh, the, the citizens, the people of Egypt uh, with food. Joseph made arrangements for the people and the land after the famine had ceased. What was the nature of this agreement in chapter 47, verse 26? That the fifth part of everything except the land would go to the priest would go to Pharaoh. Yep. The people were allowed to work their land, but they have a, had to give a portion of their crops to Pharaoh, which built up the national food supply. The exception was the priests. Uh, Joseph enacted a statute that Pharaoh must receive one-fifth of all the crops. Question nine. Notice the interesting wording in chapter 47, verse 27, which is, Now Israel lived in the land of Egypt, in Goshen, and they acquired property in it. Observe the connection, Israel and they. How is the word Israel being used here? <clears throat> the word Israel is being used to refer to the Jews, not Jacob. Um, the end of the verse, uh, it says, and became very numerous. So it's, if you're talking about a single guy, single man, that wouldn't make sense. Maybe. How is the word, okay, what is, what was happening to the young nation of Israel in Goshen in this verse? They were growing in numbers, possessions, and animals. How long did Jacob, Jacob live in Egypt? 17 years. How old was he when he died? Okay. Yes, 147. So so faintly. Yeah. I know. I know. Because at first I thought I heard 137, so I, maybe I can drag it out of her. Okay. Um, okay. Question 11. What promise did, J did Jacob make Joseph agree to and why in chapters 47? 29 through 31. That's right, Jacob requested not to be buried in Egypt, but with his ancestors, his fathers, at the cave of Machpah. Machpah? Machpah. So, okay. All right, thank you.